What is up, everyone? Lance, Matt, Uncle Jordan here with another MJRL Hobbs Love video. Please hit that subscribe button so that you know when it's time to hang out with the boys today. What is this thing, Matt? What it is was. this? This is my forever single figure. This is, I just gave up on dating and I gave up on how people think of me and I just decided that what was is, it. What I'm gonna get is this my, from? It's from the high school DXD. Okay, so when he brought this over, I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, audience, whoever's watching this, it said Bear Lake, and I was like, is this thing barely legal on this thing? And I was like, yeah. what are you buying, dude? Totally but inappropriate it's bear figure. Lake. It's Bear Lake, so it's all good, man. That was my bad. My first this quarter inch scale figure. I thought it would be, right? Normally I buy one seventh scale or one eighth scale. This is one this is quarter big. inch. This is a big this figure. You put this above your bed, and you tell, you tell the ladies that come over, this is what I like. No, I right? better not, because be, that just be, looks wildly be inappropriate. You. You're like, <laughs> I got one of these suits in the closet. I just got to dry clean. I'm wondering about myself go. now. Why did I buy okay. this? You would have to dry clean it because how could you have a white piece of cloth right here? Like, how would that stay clean at all? I mean, really. They were thinking with science. Correct. You have to dry clean it. Yeah, yeah. Because otherwise it'd be wet. What is, who is Koneko Tojo? Is that the name? Yeah, the name of the girl is Koneko. She's uh, the rook for high for Rias Grembri from High School DXD. Basically this... this is it a fighting game thing? It's they not a fight? fighting, it's a, well, they do, do fight. They, fight, they do fight. fight bikini girls at each other? They're, they're demons, like vampires and stuff, so <laughs> Koneko's like a fox demon. Thing. Why is she a bunny? Shouldn't she be a fox? Well, this is, is like bunny, bunny girl look, figures. This is my first bunny girl figure. Lies. I, I typically, no, it actually is. I don't buy bunny girl figures. You have the one with the, the, the lace stockings from way back. Yeah, but that was actually a bunny girl figure from a thing that was supposed to be this. this, this they actually really have, they actually have quarter inch smile. scale figures for all these different anime series that are all bunny Oh, figures. I see what you're saying. So this is actually... Is the brand? Free Ink? Yeah, this is the first bunny girl figure I bought. Which I caved in and got this. The but now I'm afraid great. that I'm going to have to start buying all these damn quarter Actually, you know what's kind of cute is this, uh... It's the kanji and the, the logo for the anime. Like, it's, it's kind of nice, you know? You see a lot of different logos for anime. I can't read Katakana kanji. Yeah, it says high school right here. Uh, high school DXD. B-O-N. My grandma tried to teach me Japanese when I was a kid, and I was like, no thanks, grandma, this is America. Now I deeply regret it so much. <laughs> I should have everything. whole new wow. level of buying expensive figures. Wow, yeah, you know what? You're making your mother proud, man. No, quarter inch figures are everything. expensive. What are you talking The ones that you brought before were not expensive? What okay, the they were expensive too, but these are bigger. Did you get a great job, in, a great deal I on this? I did get a good deal on this, so... Like, I and thought you were matters. buying the biggest ones. Because this is by far the biggest figure we've ever yes. seen. Yes. Because wow. I don't buy quarter inch figures. This is the first quarter the inch in? figure I no. bought. It'd be like those weird tarot ones we opened up, right? Yep, yep. Oh, I'm afraid. Am I going to get canceled? You're going to get arrested? You're going to get arrested, <laughs> yeah. What is the legal age of this immortal demon? Like, uh, uh, wow. This is the first. Wow, you, can, yeah. you know, I talk about the detail and the paint, but you can really tell just by the size. Like, as soon as you open Whoa. As soon as you open it up, <laughs> yeah. I mean, just really, the shading is nice, it's beautiful. I mean, these pieces are in place to protect. Is there a stand of any kind? No, I don't think so. Just sits oh, on, the, just sits it's on the ground like that. Whoa, and it, this is a pain to get this plastic <laughs> bag in Never going back that. on. Yeah, yeah. Let's undress her. Whoa, taking these stockings off. Sorry, kids. Um, it's steamy. It's like steamy. Adult wow. content. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look. They even managed to stuff it in between Incredible. her her bosom. In case she got the... sweaty in the box. Yeah. Where yeah. does this piece come off? Is this a real perv piece? Oh, I don't know. It looks Matt's gonna find out. And it looks sectional in some ways. It's sectional. Wow, I mean Wow. What are, oh, there's some really Is that bunny ears? What is it in the box? Bunny ears and a tie thing? Oh yeah. Yeah. You think the you think it's the bunny Oh, I was like, oh, is this broken? What is happening, Matt? It's my new phone stand. I no, think. uh <laughs> You actually could. If you would rig with something here, you could do it. Wow, this, this is very anatomically <laughs> correct. Like someone, someone did a very, very big study of this big area here. I I'm mean, sorry, mom. I know I'm disappointing you right now. I'm so wow. proud right now, bro. Uh, wow, this is exotic to say the least. I mean, the classic Hugh Hefner yeah, Playboy I'm Bunny so outfit. Oh wow. I mean, this is cute. This little cat thing. Yeah, oh, I mean. mean I was thinking of getting all the DXD uh, bunny figures. I really don't know line, what to say, but, but I mean, yeah. just in terms of, like, I'm shocked at the size, because we always 
open a certain size of figure, and mm-hmm. I always assume that's the biggest figure they make. The no. one that you always buy. I always one buy six, the one seven. One seven, one seven scale. scale. Yeah. But this one's way bigger, and it's like Probably it was surprising when I opened it up and looked at it. But again, you know, definitely not a knockoff. You can tell just the quality of the packaging. Even before you open it up, you can tell it's not a knockoff packaging. You know the. Uh, you know, the sculpting is actually really good. The anatomy, we're making a lot of jokes, but it's really spot on. Um, the accessories are good. The paint apps are good. I mean, I it's definitely something different. that I wouldn't collect because I like action figures, but I definitely like girls. I mean, I, if I was like super deep in these kinds of animes, I would definitely like it. I like the animes where people fight each other all the time though, so. That's good. And I like American comics, but I mean, I definitely appreciate scantily clad women. And, this is a very nice piece on the man. Like I really don't have a lot to say about it except you know I really like the detail here on the on these two cats on the uh, headband. <laughs> the cats on the headband, yeah. I, mean, I didn't know you can actually change out the the ear pieces, uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm actually probably gonna change it out to the cat ears. Oh yeah. Instead of the, the um, buddy stuff. But I, can you change this there. tail out to something else? I don't think so. There's no cat tail. I mean, just really well done, really well made for a specific clientele, a specific slice of people that collect. A certain type of thing and this is all the money i mean japan always goes nuts with the things they build and they always build the best so i really am impressed by it in its own way I mean, <laughs> nothing can be more sexualized and hysterical than the um if you could link a copy of our review of the gen 13 Fairchild oh, of course doll from gen 13 Fairchild was the best uh, I ever was, i think blew my mind so this is this is less ridiculous and less sexualized in my opinion than that figure is so I mean, good to go. You got any thoughts on this, Jero? No, I, I guess I like it. Matt, any other things to say? I mean, this is a prime piece. Yeah. I mean, this is the money. You got a good deal on it. What are we going to do, Matt? Yeah. So what's the name of the channel, Jay? MJRL Hobby Stuff. What's the name of the Instagram? MJRL Hobby Stuff. And you can follow me at Hawaii Toy Box. At Hawaii Toy Box. I just opened Pandora's oh, yeah. box for new figures that I need to start collecting. Let's take a picture uh-huh. of this and post it on my Instagram. So please check it out. Like it. Uh, follow the link. I have a hashtag Uncle Matt's collection. You can look at all the other posts that I put about Uncle Matt's maquettes up on my Instagram page. And I hope to see you guys in the future. Please like, subscribe, share. We need more subscribers and more views. And we are counting on you. All right. Thanks. Aloha.